What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Magic Legends Open Beta, episode number 29 with me, Gamer Noob. We are so close to 30, so I thought I'd bring you guys in, show you guys how I've been progressing, how I've been getting my XP. It hasn't taken me too long. I've maybe been doing this for 30 minutes since the beginning of, like, level 28 when I actually started doing this strategy. Basically, all I've been doing is going to these open world battles and destroying them and you get so much experience from doing this this has to be the fastest way this has to be the fastest way i'm not i mean i'm not like i haven't done like the research and stuff it just feels incredibly quick like you get like for these small ones you get like four thousand experience just from finishing it that's not including all the stuff that you killed during it and then from like the big ones you get like eight thousand and they're really quick too is the thing like this is so fast like look how fast this is in comparison to the story missions we were doing look how fast these are we are literally have to kill one more thing in after we free all these guys we have to kill one more person who's like the boss and then it's over as soon as we kill this chain warden wherever he's at it's over so let's find him he should be spawned i probably walked past him i did should we just like, destroy this guy, right? Oh, I got stuck. He wasn't attached to that man. We did kill him already. But yeah, like that was like what a couple minutes? Not even. It's not even been two minutes since I started the video, and it's over. It's over, and you're gonna see a big experience drop. Boom! Forty-three hundred experience just from doing that quick thing. So all I've been doing is going on the map, being like, hmm, what's an area that has a lot? Oh, this area has a lot, and has someone going there. So if we get there quick enough. We can go to this major skirmish. I think I'll get there in time. Yep. Go to this major skirmish. We can help this guy out. Look, skirmish complete. I got here at the last second. Still 4,300 XP. If I'd have been here for the whole thing, I'd have gotten more. I wasn't there for the whole thing, though. Still 4,300 XP. Just from showing up because someone else did it. It's so quick. It's so quick. And I love it. Now that guy teleported away because he's doing the kind of like the same thing I'm doing right into him a few times. And I am going to the small one because I don't think it's worth it to just teleport all the time. I think 4,000 experience for doing the small ones is perfectly fine. And like, look how fast it is. You have to fill up a bar to 100%. We're already at 63%. We've been here for what? 10 seconds? Maybe? And this is one of the faster ones for sure, but still. Like none of them take like, any time at all. And we just gotta wait for the ogre to spawn. And it'll spawn around here somewhere in a second. There it is. And we can just launch ourselves at it. Usually I have the other abilities queued up by then. But yeah, there's that. That's done too now. Big XP drop coming in. 4,300 more experience. That's crazy. It's actually crazy. Up here, there's a big one up here. There's two big ones up here, actually. Look at that. Sure, the mythic encounters there. We could do that for some drops, but why? But why? This video has been going on for about four minutes now, right? I have already done 10,000 experience. That's insane. We were getting like 11,000, 16,000 experience for those like 15 minute missions. Why was I doing those? This is one of the ones that is quote unquote harder. It's longer because you have to defend the caravans and not a lot of these guys spawn in comparison to the other guys. But it's not, it's still not like long. It's just, you gotta kind of get a little bit of attention. Not really either. I can just throw that on him. We gotta look around and try to see which caravans are dying. Now, I mean, it is possible to lose them, sure. Like, if you're, if, like, I'm talking right now and stuff, and, like, a lot of guys spawn. Like, I could, I could lose one. Um, it is difficult to lose one. Though. Especially when you, like, turn this on and just go at them. Like, because you get to see where they all are following the blue lines, right? And the goal is to kill them to 100% before they break something. So don't focus entirely on protecting things. You need to really focus 
on killing the big groups. That way you can actually get closer to winning, if that makes sense. Like, you're not going to lose it if you get to 100% before they break. Even if they're close to breaking, they still not they still won't break. So like we're at 93 percent right now, and I'm just looking for big groups to go. Boom, done. Mission over. Here it comes. Big XP drop. For now. And level 30. I think, right? Did we just hit level 30? We did. We hit level 30. Now what do we do at level 30? I have no idea. <laughs> That's the thing. It doesn't open up anything new, anything crazy. I am at a loss. Like I'm gonna have to do some some research or something. Because if this is it, just repeating the same things, the same missions over and over again. I'm. I don't like the end game. I mean, it's a free game, and I got my time out of it, right? Like we got. This is the 29th episode. Most of them are about 30 minutes long, but like, I just, yeah. I mean, I don't want to sit here and just do the same things over and over again. Greetings, my friend. There's no like crazy end game stuff that pops up when you hit level 30, which is kind of what you would expect. We're Planeswalker level 30 now. There's nothing like crazy in here. Go to our realm. But this is probably going to be the last episode, guys. If, unless they like, unless I can do some research and find some extra cool stuff to do. Like, I just... It's sad. But, like, I just don't think there's a lot that we really need to do, you know? I'm just upgrading stuff in here. Like, I could, I could always, I guess, do this stuff for a while. But this has still got a day, like, two days on it. This has still got like two days on it. So yeah, that's, I mean, honestly, pretty much going to do it for this episode. Like we're pretty much just done. Pretty much just done. I'll look into some more stuff that we could possibly do and maybe bring you back another time. But I think that's just going to do it for this episode, guys. I mean, it's extremely short, but I know you guys wanted to see level 30 happen. So I wanted to make sure that happened for you guys, but that's going to do it. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. We actually have this Orb of Shadows now. Take this over shadows to your mana vault to gain or so there we go we can, we can do that we can refine that there you go we refine that one and we got some chromatic mana and stuff like that i don't i don't know what any of that really did but we did a thing pretty cool but that's gonna do it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode I, if you want to see more let me know what more there is to do and i will go and do it but that's gonna do it if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like if you've got anything to say go to the comments below and if you haven't yet hit that subscription button the bell helps me out a ton thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time peace